Friday when the Bills scored, and they scored a lot, Buffalo went on to defeat the Steelers 31 to 17. Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we won't have that kind of scene tomorrow morning, feet of snow, but I would say at least a couple of inches of snow. And then we throw sleet, which are those ice pellets, and then freezing rain on top. So while the accumulations are not excessive, it is just enough to make things slippery. Allow extra travel time, reduce your travel speeds. We're still quiet in Providence. Uh, the air's quite dry, so until the humidity jumps up a bit, uh, we'll keep things dry, but uh, snow during the overnight hours. Temperatures at last check are generally uh, in the upper 20s. That includes 29 in Providence, looking at uh, 31 in Bedford. Narragansett is at 28. So our threat tracker overnight pre-dawn remains elevated as we have snow likely with accumulations by daybreak and some slippery travel, certainly anything that's untreated as we take you into Tuesday. Snow continues everywhere, at least through the early morning, but by 12 noon, we start to switch over to uh, sleet and freezing rain. And again, slippery travel and slower travel speeds. Things dry out to um, Tuesday night. And Wednesday looks like a cold and dry day. Satellite radar composite. The strip of blue represents the snow from the mid-Atlantic and back through the Virginias. This is all tracking north and east and arriving here uh, during the overnight hours. When we take this into the future, we'll take a look at the wider view. And you can see overnight, and this is... Uh, you know, three, four in the morning, the blue indicating some of that light to moderate snow take you into tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Most of us still have some snow at that time, but you see the green offshore indicating uh, some rain. So by the afternoon hours, uh, we start to switch over to sleet and freezing rain. And it can be a little deceiving where it, it's raining and you say, well, you know, no problem, it's raining, but uh, the ground temperature is still below freezing. You get some icing on top of the snow. The whole thing is out of here by uh, early tomorrow night, certainly by 11 o'clock, uh, things are starting to clear out. So as far as precipitation uh, type, well, first of all, the forecast in more detail shows the snow overnight. Here we are, all this blue, um, Nine o'clock tomorrow morning, light to moderate snow. As we switch over towards noon, uh, the pink represents sleet and freezing rain, and the green and yellow is plain rain with temperatures above freezing. This is around one o'clock in the afternoon. Three o'clock in the afternoon, sleet and freezing rain, northern Rhode Island, south and east of Providence. It's mainly a plain, non-freezing rain. And we jump ahead to about 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Most of us are starting to dry out. And with falling temperatures, anything wet and slushy will refreeze. So the precipitation type, snow to rain along the south shore. Inland, it's snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Then further north and west, snow uh, mixing with sleet. Accumulations in this area in blue, generally 1 to 3 inches and up to an inch along the south shore. Though new information coming in suggesting maybe the coastline could actually squeak out too. But we're going with a, at least an inch here and 1 to 3 inches as you go Providence points uh, north and west. So while that's not an excessive amount of snow, it is enough to make things slippery. So overnight, pre-dawn while we're sleeping, light snow is likely. It'll look like this early tomorrow morning with slippery travel, but by late morning, we start to see the transition. So during the afternoon, it's more of a sleet and freezing rain. Temperatures in the lower 30s. Be careful traveling. All right, seven-day forecast. Drying out tomorrow night. Wednesday, Thursday, looking okay. The chance for some more snow on Friday. So Stay tuned. This upcoming weekend could be one of the coldest weekends we've seen all season. Look at these high temperatures, both a Saturday and Sunday, generally in the mid to upper 20s. But Mike, it's a little bit of everything uh, for tomorrow, but waking up early in the morning to all snow, but then that uh, transition to that slop of sleet and freezing rain. So be careful. Sometimes that's worse than just all the snow. Oh, freezing rain is so deceiving. It, it, it can be sometimes more dangerous than the snow itself. All right. Yeah. Anthony, thanks. Coming up next in sports, we introduce you to...